Hey guys, Cassie TV here with another Diablo 4 video. In this time, we're going to talk about the Priestess Kin, which is located at, in Kejistan, southeast or east side of Gea Kul. Right there in this little location, right there. You talk to her, something is off. You talk to her several times, and she'll spawn as a demon. This is one of the named rare, unique, well, unique, rare monsters. And by killing her, and there's uh, quite a few others, I will leave a link in the description below to all the other uh, monsters you can kill, which are similar to this, but this one is very special, because this one drops Kin's Captivating uh, Eye. Now, Kin's Captivating Eye is actually very good for sorcerers, and also really good for necromancers. In this case, we have a 717 Captivating Eye or Sacred version. Now, to reset this, you can actually trade this between players as well, by the way. But we are able to relog, and otherwise she spawns within a couple of minutes. You can get up to 837, also all the way up to 845. This one specifically is listed in this link, which will be in the descriptions below. Uh, this one rolls, these are the base ones, and then there's a lucky hit chance, and there's a lucky hit with 10% chance to slow, and there's a crowd control duration. Here's the crazy part. You can enchant it to have lucky hit and another lucky hit enchanted on top of that. In uh, this build that I'm playing, which is an explosive shadow mist build, I'm looking to have a cooldown reduction. All of this will be linked in the descriptions below. And I'm going to show you if I can get a real quick spawn here. I have a 837. And as you can see, this is absolutely disgusting. And one thing to point out is that item level requirement is based off your character level, uh, which means that if you're level 60 doing this, the item would be required on level 60. The item power is based on the world tier, which means that if you're doing this in world tier 4, level 60, if you're able to do it, you can drop an 845 item power giga endgame item at level 60 and use it. It's absolutely disgusting. So I relogged and I got another spawn. So the rinse repeat this entire process and you can farm this very, very effectively. I've gotten several over 800 and I've gotten one 837. Pretty bad on hit roll, sadly, but you know, it is what it is, right? So this is essentially how it's done uh, to farm this button specifically. So you got a sacred in this case, I got a 724. They don't sell for more than two gold, so it's really, really kind of bad. But uh, that's how it's done. It's a very simple farm to do. And I would recommend that if you're having struggles or if you want to get started in uh, World Tier 4, this is a great opportunity to farm those things. And most importantly, what you can do is uh, look through this list of items. There's uh, other items such as a freezing armor. There's uh, some weapons as well. And since you can very easily farm these uh, as soon as you get into World Tier 4, uh, a recommendation would be to literally pump out uh, these uh, these bosses or these unique targets, if you will, just to get that big ass juicy item that you can utilize and uh, progress your World Tier 4 with early on. That's it. Next part about this before we leave you guys to tell you guys to subscribe and hit the like button and all that jazz to help the YouTube uh, algorithm gods is the very important detail with this. When you enchant this, the, it seems like the enchant cost is based on the items cost. So I'm going to show you one more kill and I'm going to show you the cost of enchanting this, which is absolutely ridiculous. It will still cost you some forgotten souls. That's the expensive part. Outside of that, the gold wise starts off at nothing. Here's an ancestral 804. Uh, we're gonna head over to uh, to the town, and I'm gonna show you the enchant cost of this now. This is insane. Like a couple of minutes of doing this, and you can have your in-game weapon in World Tier 4. It's just obviously I'm hoping that they're gonna nerf something like this, but at the same time, it would be kind of nice to have like a kickstart uh, stuff because these items only have three modifiers, so they're definitely not the best in slot. But the fact that they can roll up to 845 is insane. So in this case, I'm going to go and enchant this. And as you can see, it cost me Forgotten Souls and it cost me Veiled Crystals, but it cost me 6 gold. And if you look at the item that I have equipped, which I've enchanted several times, it is up to uh, 2 million now. And I believe that is because I enchanted it. Uh, sorry, put a legendary aspect on it. Because before I put the legendary aspect on it, the gold cost was about 36 gold. Uh, for me to re-roll. So I think that uh, that actually changed the the, um, the uh, cost of it. And I do believe that is because now the sale value is 57.6 thousand simply because of the legendary aspect, which this one does not have. It costs six gold for me to, uh, to enchant right now. 
absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do check out the links in the descriptions below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So till then, as always, stay safe, keep rocking.